If the bartender won't talk, what are you going to do? Uh, were there any other witnesses to the arrest? Yeah, sure, everybody in the bar saw it. Mm -hmm. But none of them are going to step forward, if that's what you mean. So it's your word against two cops. Two rotten cops. Rotten cops. But you can bet they dress really nicely and act really polite to a judge. And they're still cops. I know. I know. And I can't blame everybody for being scared. You have to watch your own backside in that part of town. But not Tracy. What? She stuck her neck out for me to make sure that I could sneak out of there tonight. Maybe she'll help me. Maybe if she talks, we can get those cops. Harley, no offense, but she's a convicted criminal. Her testimony's not gonna... No, no, no. I just mean maybe if she talks, then everybody else will step forward. No. What am I saying? No, no, it's just work. No. You didn't see her that night that I was yelling at the cops. She was really scared. That's understandable. Yeah. But I can't give up. I've got to convince her to help me. Oh, man. Look, I better hit the road. Tell Vinny to call me later. He's going to be ticked off. It would be worse if he has to come bail me out again. The last thing I need is these guys running me in because your boss is too cheap to come up with the payment. Hey, you know, it doesn't make my life any easier either. Take care of yourself. I'm gonna stay out of here for a while. Tracy, take care. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. I think tomorrow we take care of this threat. I can't hang with you. The wrong people see me, I could let in real hot water. Tracy, you'll be safe here, I promise. I don't know what you want from me. We were arrested when we shouldn't have been. Now I have to do something about it. You can't, so just forget it. No, I can't just forget it, and neither should you. What happened was, was awful, and it was wrong. Yeah? What's your point? My point is that I want to fight this. But to do it, I need your help. I want to help you go after crooked cops. You're nuts. No, Tracy, please, just, just hear me out. For old time's sake. Look, I, I, I know where you're coming from in this. I really do. Sometimes it's easier just to give up and sit back and take your lumps. Because I did that once. But it's only going to make things worse, Tracy. You have to fight for yourself, because believe me, nobody else is going to do it. You've already been thrown in jail because of them. What's it going to take for you to get it? Well, I can't just shrug my shoulders and walk away. I can't help you, Harley. That's all there is to it. I'm not asking you to do anything I'm not willing to do myself. Harley, look. You and me, we go way back. And I like you. I always have, but... I have a baby to worry about. You have a baby? Yeah. A little girl. You don't know what it's like, so don't tell me what I gotta do, because you have never been in a fix like that. Tracy, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize. It's all right. It's just... It gets kind of rough, you know? I mean, you gotta do some tough things when you got a kid and an old man. That's why I understand. I do. I really understand. I mean, I would do whatever to protect my kid, too. Harley, listen. It's not like when you lived here. Your whole life is different now. I have no one, so I have to play the game. But you have people and choices. Your brother's a PI. Get him to help you. Well, Frank has a lot on his mind these days. And besides, I don't think he knows how important this is to me. Well, what about your rich friend? Isn't her uncle a lawyer or something? Who, Sam? Yeah, her uncle's going to be the new DA, as a matter of fact. But so he thinks the only way to get things done is through the system. And that could take forever. Yeah, I hear you. Tracy, they're the bad guys. No, we don't have to just sit back and accept that. Hey, if you won't, if you won't do it for me, and you won't do it for yourself, do it for your little girl.
One thing I've learned is that if you act like a doormat, people are going to step on you. Stop being a doormat, Tracy. You can't spend your whole life being scared of two rotten cops. Look, I told you I have a baby to worry about. And that's exactly why you should help me. Hey, you don't want your daughter growing up and reading about her mother's arrest in the newspapers. Don't you want her to grow up with a mother who isn't... What? A hooker? I was gonna say afraid. All right. All right. I'll do what I can. But you need to promise that I'll be protected. Thank you. Thank you. I'll speak to my brother, I promise. I hope you're right about this. I know I am. Tracy, just remember, you're doing it for your kid. So what next? Well, can you meet me on the corner in an hour? Yeah, that'll give me time to go home, check on Wendy. Wendy? Such a pretty name, I like that. Hey, Tracy, I'll, uh, I'll see you at the phone booth, okay? And Tracy? Don't give me that. Listen, you know I would do anything for you in the entire world. There's no way I'm gonna let you get back into trouble. And you and Tracy lay low and let me take care of this whole thing. You don't want to end up back in jail, do you? No. I won't ever allow that to happen again. Have your word. Uh, Frankie, I think I think there's one call for you. All right, thanks. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help but hear, but I, you were in jail. Is yes? Oh, Laney, I wish you hadn't heard that, but it's over now. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, Harley's this nice person like you in jail. I worry. I think maybe immigration might put me in jail, too. Oh, they won't. All right, I shouldn't say that. I know now that... People get arrested for no good reason. Sometimes there's nothing we can do about it. I, I don't understand how this can be. This is America, the land of laws. Well, yeah, but it's also the land of the haves and the have-nots. I mean, if you've got money, you're a have. What does this mean? In this country, money makes a difference in how you're treated. I was up on the hill for so long that I forgot the rules are different for, for people like that girl I was just with. I forgot that until the other day. You know, I, I think you're right. Money does make a difference. Things to do, so I'll see you later. Hey, well, hold on here. Remember what I said, all right? Bye. Leave me alone. It's too late. You're coming with me. trouble getting a sitter. Or maybe she got stuck on the phone. Or maybe something happened. Something bad. Why aren't you at the office being a detective? 
because I'm still responsible for this place, that's why. And if I don't pull out these orders, you're going to be serving nothing but practice. I can handle this. Leave the diner to me, okay? Come on. Well, maybe after the dinner rush, all right? Here you go. Samantha, can I get you anything else? No, this is fine, thanks. Uh, has Harley been in yet? Oh, earlier, uh, she's coming back. She's going to help Frank with uh, the evening shift. Yeah. Is something wrong? No. Um, I've been doing some research on immigration law since we last time. And is there something I can do to stay in this country? Well, the laws are very strict, but there are several ways to extend your visa before you get your green card. This is good news. Oh, yeah. Samantha, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, I'm still working on it. Don't thank me yet. <laughs> okay. Hey. Thank you, Sam. Hey. hey. What happened? Did you talk to Tracy? Yeah. It went great. She decided that she was going to help me go up against those crooked cops. And then she disappeared. I had finally gotten through to Tracy. She decided she was tired of jumping through hoops with some low life hiding behind a badge and she was ready to do something about it. Maybe she just decided that this isn't the way. Yeah, or maybe somebody decided for her. Look, we were supposed to meet on the corner by the phone booth a while ago. And she never showed up. She would never just leave me standing there. So I went looking for her. Her landlady said she moved out, just like that. She said she saw her um, getting into a cab with her baby and she was crying. And she wasn't alone. That doesn't mean that she was forced. Damn. She doesn't have any money to fly anywhere. She doesn't have money to buy a couple of beers. Well, maybe it's just as well she left. Now you're going to have to abandon this crusade and let the law take care of it. Yeah, what law? This just means I'll have to sit these guys by myself. You are not an investigator. These men are dangerous. You can't risk that. Sam, all I'm going to do is take a little video of Hutchins collecting his payoff from the bar. That's all? Yeah, that's all. And then I'll give it to Uncle Ross. What and I'll let they... him take it from there. What if they catch you? Have you thought about that? No, they won't. Well, how can you be so sure? Sure. Because I'm good at this. I've done this before. I'm good with hidden videos. This is not a joke. You don't have to tell me that. Hey, I, I saw the fear in Tracy's eyes. She's got a kid, and she's living under this constant threat, and it's awful. And, yeah, the easy thing would be to walk. It sounds to me like Tracy ran. Maybe that should tell you something. I hope I didn't get her into some real trouble. Then stop this before it goes any further. I can't, Sam. I can't. You don't understand. At least get Frank to help. Frank? No way. So you can send me on another cruise? Forget it. And you shouldn't talk. Sam, I didn't say anything to your Uncle Ross when you were snooping around in Daniel's pants. Oh, come on. Look at all these beautiful women going to waste. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, actually, I should get going. I have a date tonight. Thank goodness. Who is the lucky oh, fellow? Yeah. <laughs> She's a lawyer in the district attorney's office. Uncle Ross is going to be working with him. That's great. When did this happen? Today. He seems really nice and he's cute. I just met him and he asked me, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's great. I'm glad that you're, you're moving on. I'm happy for you. Maybe I can ask him about your little problem. <laughs> no. What problem? No, 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 no. <laughs> Sam, that's really not necessary. You just go out and you have a good time. Okay. Well, tell me what you're doing. What problem? Stavros, <laughs> this is girl talk. Yeah. Look, hello. Thanks. So, you're going to be detective too, huh? Oh, come on, Harley, tell me about this. I, maybe I can help. Well, I can't do anything until I get a video camera. Frank has a camera like that. Yeah, I know, but I can't get near that. Unless... It looks like it's going to be a slow night, so uh, since you're here to help me, can you can cover while I go to the office? You can't go now, Frank. What are you talking about? Just a minute ago, you were trying to get rid of me. I know. Well, there's uh, there's many rough-looking customers in the diner tonight. Not rough-looking oh, customers. Hey, 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 hey. I, I feel better knowing that Stavros was not the only man in the diner. 
I have an idea. Um, why, why don't you go to his office and get whatever he needs and you stay here? Oh, I would be happy to do this. And it would make me feel good knowing that you didn't, you know, neglect your business. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Chili's like going a little overboard here. Frankie, it reminds me of that man, those men in the, in the alley that night. Maybe you're right. Anyway, well, here. Take the keys, and this is what I need. Hi. Oh, hi. I didn't know which to bring, so I brought all of these. I uh, hope I did okay. What do we say? Yeah, you did fine. Good. Thanks. Good. Hey, Frank. What? I have a few things I have to do, so... Oh, no, no. Just... Don't explain. All right. Gee, thanks for your help today, sis. Well, the place is dead right now anyway. I promise I'll be there when you really need some help. Okay? Yeah, right. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Harley. Hi, Harley. Don't worry about this. Here you go, Shane. Right away. What? Uh, can you take this? Oh, I can take it off. This was it for me. Sure, thanks. Thank you. Stanners, I need to take a break. You have customers? Uh, they are very happy. Frankly, you will not like this. So what else is new, eh? Let's see. Bring me a bus tray, please. Eleni is on her break. Break? What break? Expecting. Nobody! Gosh, am I glad to see you! <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Eleni, <laughs> what are you doing here? I came to help! You're very sweet, Eleni, but you have to leave now. No! What? I want to help! This is very serious, Eleni. I know, I know. You're upset about what happened to your friend. I heard. Well, then you know that this is trouble. Yes. I know this is trouble and you think that no one can help you, not even Frank, but I can do it. I can help. No, I, I appreciate your concern. I really do. But if you want to help me, please leave. Please. What? Oh. He's here. Oh, here. I can't let him see me. Yes, so according to the Attorney General, I am finally, finally a free man. Really? Yeah, I paid him back in full. I'm what you call a free agent. You sound great. I am. I was so glad when I came out of that meeting, I decided to drive back. I had the windows down and everything. Mm -mm, no, don't tell me. Did you sing? I might have burst in a song once or twice. <laughs> Probably scared some livestock. Yeah, and your sister. How is she doing? She's okay, I hope. She didn't come with me. You left her alone? Oh, of course not. She's with the Bowers. Oh. You can't get any safer than that. Mm. But I called when I was on my way back, and there was no answer, so I came back here to check messages, and I saw your light on. So, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Very well. I just got back from New York last night. Huh. Yeah, I, I did a lot. I got a lot done. I saw a lot of people. Got a few leads for work. I, um... I 
thought about you a lot. Yeah, well, I'm pretty unforgettable. Valet, how are you doing? Really? Okay. I will be. I have to be. You know, Mindy, I don't, I don't even know what I want anymore. What are you going to do? Have supper. You up for it? <sighs> Come on, let's go get some feed. I actually have some money for one, so I'm buying. Good. You're on. You worked hard, did you? Not the dog. So who's he? Nothing. No one. Mindy? I mean it. No one I can think about right now. Let's go. Get the lights. Somebody who should only have the best champagne. Ah, oh, so this is what I should order, huh? <laughs> Not in this place. I'll tell you what. I'll buy you a drink. Really? I would like that very much. Yeah? Um, why don't you order me a surprise and I will be right back, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> Helping. Stay put in and stay close. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I just need to freshen up a bit. <laughs> well, you look pretty fresh to me. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh. Coincidence. Twice in one week, you honestly believe that? Mm. Look at them. No, no, that's right. Look at them. Go ahead. Let him squirm a little. Are you sure you want to stay here? Yeah, he can't get to me anymore. Besides, it's a small town, AC. I can't run out of a room every time he's in it. Mindy! Hi, Hi, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, well, I've been out of town in business. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll have to get together sometime. I don't see anyone anymore. Good, I'd like that. Good, I'll call you. Okay. Bye. Bye. You okay? Yes. You sure? Because, look, I want to go call Julie. I don't feel right that I couldn't get a hold of her before. She should be home. Go ahead. I'll give you a second. Okay. Thanks. Then it's time for another round. <laughs> what do you call this again? No, it's a zombie. Man. We have two more zombies in round. Put them on my tabs. Oh, so they let you have a tab here, huh? Oh, they pretty much let me do whatever I like around this joint. <laughs> they know which side their bread's buttered on. Oh, you cook for them, huh? <laughs> no, uh, but I keep them cooking. <laughs> no, it's just an expression. So what does this mean, uh, the side the bread is by the <laughs> 
Hey, sweetheart, didn't anybody tell you it was a bad idea to drink alone? You must be a Scorpio. They're loners. You're right. So beat it. <laughs> And if you're the person who does that and they know, then uh, you say they know what side their bread is buttered on. This is a very good thing. I should probably use this on the man I work so hard for. You are very smart. <laughs> well, I try. I don't want to talk to you. Please, Roger Blake's here. You don't want this. If you're seeing Mal, I have a right to know. A right? Who do you think you are? You're alone, Thorpe. You stay out of this. Look, she's made it clear she wants nothing to do. Just butt out, okay, Mallet? Dad, I called a cab. What, you're leaving? Yeah, there's a lot of work I have to do at the office. Oh, honey, don't. Come on, let's have some dessert. I'll give you a ride myself, okay? No, I took care of it. Blake, could I get a ride with you to back to my office? Oh, of course, we can catch up. Oh, great. Bye. Perfect. Good night. Good night. I'll call you tomorrow. Listen, if you're even thinking of going after Mindy, think again. What? You almost bought it. If you go after Mindy, I'll take care of the job myself. I got no time for you, Thorpe. I mean it. You stay away from Mindy. Look, she's free to do what she wants, and so am I. You mean you are seeing her? Raj, that's none of your business, and never forget it. But she's made it clear she wants you out of her life, so you better stay out of it. See, and that's none of your business. Don't make me come at you, Thorpe. Because if I do, I swear you'll never know what hit you. <laughs> so, would you like another round? No, I don't think so. I didn't eat very much today, and uh, these are very strong. <laughs> Oh, so you noticed, huh? Yes, yes, well, it's a little bit of my stomach. It's used to Ujo, but uh, this, I think, is much stronger. And uh, it, uh, I don't know, does things to you. <laughs> that they do. <laughs> they, they, they are sneaky. They crawl up on you. <laughs> Look, I've got an idea. I know this all-night joint near the towers. Really good food. It's called the uh, Metro, you know? No, I've never been there. Well, why don't I take it? Thank you much. Fresh oysters, calamari. Oh, I love calamari. Yeah, all right. Um, let me just take care of a little business here. Mr. Hill. Thank you. Manny. I need the envelope, now. Boss said tomorrow. Now, the schedule's moved up. I want it now. Oh, man, Hutchins, I can't, you know. The boss will kill me. If I, if I don't make my deposit tonight, I'll be short with that money. Your boss who knows who takes care of him and why. Now, pay up. I'll explain it to him tomorrow. Baby, you're torturing me. You gotta let me keep your company. Get lost. Oh, you don't mean that. Can you leave me alone? Your timing's unbelievable. Start this thing up. I'll fill you in. Who are we after? Harley and Elaney. I think they're in trouble. We gotta find them.
take you home. You didn't see anything. You don't know anything. <sighs> that policeman, he knows you took, you took film of him taking the payoff. He's going to come after you. Well, that's going to be a little difficult when he's in jail, and that's exactly where he's going when I get this to the right people. Now, you just stick with me. 